How to drip paint down a canvas at the end without destroying the painting. It's just an average tube of acrylic paint. This is the painting here, what I'm working on. And what I'm doing is, I'm literally, I'm pulling it down. I'll stop there. And counting in seconds if you want different lengths across the art helps. So that was a four second. One, two, three. That's a three second pour, so that will be even shorter. And this will be a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven second pour, which will, as you can see it moving there, will be a longer one. This is just going to be a three, one, two, three. And as you can see, the kind of effect you get from it, if it's coming down. I'm filming this from the back, so I'm hoping that you can see that okay. I'm going to put a bit more here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I want that to be a long one. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I want that to pretty much go uh, the full length of the canvas on this one. This is a painting that I'm currently working on. I don't know if you can see that properly. I think that's probably a better for you. So you count in seconds from the top of the canvas when the paint starts to pour uh, for different lengths of uh, drip work onto your abstract art. I love doing this. It's something that I could do for hours just, you know, with all different colours um, after I've created a design on the canvas. Uh, this kind of uh, strip work doesn't work on every type of abstract art, but obviously it depends on what you're working on and you as the artist will know what to do anyway but there's a little tutorial that's how i do it anyway it just makes it really easy to do